Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is James, and today we're going to be talking about how to find and ensure the Lifeguard ATV Nagasaki Blazer in your garage in GTA Online. This is a very speedy and cool looking ATV, and it is a modified version of the regular Nagasaki Blazer ATV that can be bought online. The bought online version can be insured, but the one found at the beach, the Lifeguard version with all the Lifeguard decals, and accessories on the sides can normally not be stored in your garage and today we're going to be talking about how to do that. Now if you enjoyed the video please make sure to support it by leaving a like and also if you're new around here make sure to subscribe for some more awesome daily GTA 5 tips, news, info and more. The Nagasaki Blazer lifeguard version is pretty easy to find. It can easily be found all around the lifeguard stands at the beach during the morning to midday and even in the afternoon. It cannot be found at night though from my experience. Uh, if you just drive up and down the beach, you'll eventually find it. There is another version of the Nagasaki Blazer. There's the original regular one, which can be found, bought, and insured online, which is pretty much pointless. But there's the lifeguard one that is parked directly next to the lifeguard stands. There's usually a lifeguard in the stand, too. You may try to chase after you. You can simply find it, and you'll know which one it is. It says lifeguard. It has some extra boxes, decals, and stuff on the side. It has a different look to it, and it does still have the same speeds from my experience. It's very fun fast and people will instantly try and go for it. It's a cool looking vehicle, but the problem is normally you cannot insure it in the garage. So in order to insure it in the garage, you're first going to want to drive it to your garage and you should be given the option to place it in your garage uninsured. Once you place it in your garage uninsured, a tracker will be placed on it. Simply then get back on the Nagasaki Blazer, drive it out, and drive it down to Los Santos Customs. A quick little note right here, you are going to need a friend and make sure your friend is hosting the game, meaning the friend is the one inviting you to their game. This will help out later on, but once your friend invites you to the game, get on, drive down to Los Santos Customs, and park the ATV across the door. Once you're on the door, simply have your friend come over there and just watch the ATV so it does not spawn out. This is a cool way we're actually going to be duplicating the vehicle in order to insure it. Once you're off, head over down to the street area, immediately open up the game store, and as soon as you're in the game store, exit out, and you should be placed back in your friend's session. Once you're back in your friend's session, hop on the lifeguard ATV that was parked across the door, not the one that's marked as your personal vehicle, and drive that one away from your personal vehicle. Once you're farther enough away, you're going to want to call up your mechanic and select any personal vehicle that you want to replace with the insured Nagasaki Blazer, and your mechanic will bring you that vehicle. Once your mechanic brings you the vehicle, simply stay on the Nagasaki Blazer and drive it back to your garage. It will then replace the vehicle your mechanic just gave you. It will be fully insured. You can call Moore's Mutual and get it back. And you now have the Nagasaki Blazer Lifeguard ATV completely insured and ready to go. Now this method can be used to duplicate other cars and in general do some cool stuff and insure vehicles that normally cannot be insured. Now if you did enjoy the video please make sure to support it by leaving a like. It definitely helps my channel grow and means a lot to me and also if you're new around here and haven't already make sure to subscribe for some more awesome daily GTA 5 content and last but not least make sure to follow my Twitch and like my Facebook. I do exclusive giveaways and updates there and also follow my Twitch.tv stream and know when I'm online and streaming. That is really about it and I hope you guys have a great day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.